and Take podcast with Brucey Chuff and Lush. And we're back. Who is that lady? I don't know. She's got a great voice. What do you reckon she looks like? I feel like. Have you ever thought about her that? Her voice is imprinted, though. Yeah. Not just for this, but she's everywhere. You ever thought what she looks like? Yes. What do you think she looks like? Blonde. Yeah, I think blonde. Like a blonde newsreader kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ish. But yeah, a bit more plain, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Plain Jane? Yeah. yeah. That's why she does voice stuff. Like they us. Usually We've got faces for this stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How yeah, you going, boys? Sorry, I just yeah. wanted to share that and wanted to know if anyone else had ever thought that. It's, good it's very catchy now. Mm. It's the start of the podcast. I didn't like it at first. I voiced it. Yeah. You, you voiced it. <laughs> it's grown on me. We fought. We did. We kissed and made up. We never really fought. No, yeah. not at all. Chopping enforces will on you. Mm hmm. And you relented. Succumbed. Succumbed. <laughs> Succumbed. <laughs> Yes. Big good. week, boys. It is wedding week. Meet me at Day the old turn, your white dress. Four, is it four days Let's until you're off the market officially? Yep. <laughs> Bit of Stop jagged edge. <laughs> Are you coming out to that? Bit of jagged edge. Let's get oh, married. Be on at some stage for sure. For sure. But yeah, big week. It's, it's a big week. How's it all going, buddy? Yeah, good. It's coming along good. I'm just doing, again, Hannah deals with a lot of it. Hannah's sister deals with a lot is of it. Is Hannah taking the week off work? No, we both have. We finished early Thursday, and we have Friday off. All right, so yeah. You, you don't need to like take the week to do stuff around the. No, I'm just sort of doing it after. Like today, I went to Bunnings, yeah, to pick up some bins and stuff. By the way, Bunnings, I fucking hate Bunnings, <laughs> <laughs> and they know you need it, so they know you have to go there because they're the only one yeah. that's got everything in one spot. Yeah, but that is trying true. to find someone to help you for fucks. Really, sake. but yeah. you went to your Bunnings close to yours. Nah, the one near mine's pathetic. So like my dad's tool shed's got more stuff than that place. It's tiny. Yeah, it's yeah. a Balcata one. The big one, Balcata. Yeah. That yeah. place is crazy. So big, but there's no one around. Yeah, you're, really? You're right because we have to go there. Exactly. Like if you need something, that's what was the place that went under a couple of years ago. Um, Masters. 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 Yes. Yeah. Every now and then I see just an empty blue building. Yeah, there. but it's a massive building. <laughs> and they not. Why would you what? compete? Why would you bother? But the Bunnings, like, it's not just that you can get the stuff everywhere else, but you can get everything there. Yeah. So and you that's have to go there. That's and it's the thing, like, you go there, you, they can clearly see you. They you either don't know what you're looking for or you can't find it. And you're yeah. looking around, you're looking around. It's obvious. And the guy would, the, the staff member would be standing in the aisle with you. Mm. And just watch you do that. He's trying his or her best to avoid eye contact yeah. as well. Just yeah. like, oh. and, they, and they're always in a rush no. when they walk past a client. Uh, no, not a at all. Customer. I used to work at like Woolworths. I worked at Ac- remember Action Action Supermarkets back in the day. I worked at Action oh, and like action. you did that and you work in the uh, industry after, because you after, talk to people. Yeah, yeah, but after a long shift and you just see some bloke, yeah, they or get some well. lady. I reckon it's absolutely w- not in the right aisle, not knowing what she's looking yeah. for. But then what, like. Have some pride in your work. I and I hate asking for help there. <laughs> that, I look was, like I should know what to do with that yeah. stuff. I should. I look like I'm, you know, handy. I'm, I'm reasonably handy. If I uh, saw you, I would tradey walk fifteen Fuck aisles off. down the other fucking yeah. way. No, you wouldn't. Loz hates <laughs> it when it's like she'll be like, "Oh, can you go and get this?" And I'll be like, "I'll take, I'll take fifteen minutes when it should take me five. Yeah, just because I don't want to ask no. someone to help me. I want to find it myself. Yeah. Because why didn't you just ask someone? So like, then I'm then I'm um, I'm accepting defeat. Yeah. yeah. You know what I found today? If you just log into the store that you're at, you search it, it tells you what I was in. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, yeah. no shit. So, uh, Maybe you should have done that before you went in. Well, yeah, now I know. So I don't have to talk to any prick there ever again. Yep. Thank you. Fair so anyway, enough. yeah, just been doing that sort of stuff after work and getting that done on the weekends and stuff. And then Friday would be a big day. Friday, big day? Mm, just getting a lot of stuff happening there. Setting up the house. Is yeah. there, we've got a big pizza truck coming in. What else we got? Boigers. Boigers. Oh, Boigers. Burgers Short order. I'm not going to say. I'm contractually, oblo- contractually obliged to not say anything. You should, yeah. You've signed an NDA. Mm-hmm. What, more, most importantly, right, what am I doing? Because uh, we haven't had a chat yet, but I'm haven't. emceeing on a night, so I'm looking forward to, to getting the rundown of the evening. Choppy yeah. wants you to wing it. No Look, I, No. Way. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> It would be hilarious, <laughs> but God knows what would happen. Yeah, unfiltered, uncensored yeah. is no bueno. <laughs> It'd be like Big Brother uncut, mm. Mm. up late, <laughs> whatever it was on back the, in the day. On the day, mm-hmm. other than get ready, mm-hmm. is there anything for you to do? Because the wedding starts at what six? 
Uh, six thirty. Six thirty, right? So well, he's in the morning. We're getting married. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So you going to the registry? No, no. Where are you going? The registry's coming to us. Ah. So we're staying at the Crown. Yeah. And who's Towers or Metropole? Towers. Who's your witnesses? Uh, just just immediate family. So they'll they'll be there at the yeah. hotel. My nonnas, her nonno, parents, siblings. Oh. Right. Beautiful. Have you got That's a massive it. room? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, it's no, a lot of people. So you're getting sweet. married in the hotel room. Mm-hmm. Very casual. And so then, and what do you do for the rest of the day? Chill out. Do you chill out with her, or do you no, chill out I, with I, you? I don't know. Well, I guess we chill out because well, she got to get ready. But yeah, but it starts at six thirty. Yeah, but you can't. You got to get ready. How are you going to get ready to get her in the same room? I think they've separate. I don't know. It's it's all been worked out. Mm. But just not by you. Not by me. <laughs> just not I've by done you. the physical stuff. I built the wall. I've yeah. sand. I've done all that sort of stuff. Asking questions above your pay grade. Not interested. No. I just trust 100% that. And then what? The, the next day, the recovery, the recovery, is it at Burnley? Sunday and Monday. We check out Monday afternoon, 2 o'clock. No, I'm talking about us coming. Oh, Sunday, yeah. And then, um, yeah, Sunday by the pool. Sunday sneak, by the pool? Sneak, sneak it's meant to be not bad weather. So can, you sneak, can you sneak people in or what? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not hard. Didn't you get, Did you get one of those cabana things? Not yet. I don't know. Maybe. You could book one of those and then you're allowed up to, I think, 20 people. Mm. You could book me one of those. I could book you one of those. <laughs> yes. How much are they? I might, book, I might have a look into it. They're quite That's expensive. Your wedding present. All right. But uh, yeah, so we'll be chilling out all day Sunday, and then Sunday night we'll have a dinner with Mason and that, because then they'll take off to back to Melbourne Monday. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Right. Still in quarantine. It's a big week. Does it, does it feel like it's coming? Like it's this week, uh, or is it not sort of sunk in yet? It's it's sunk in. I, I'm just like excited for it. Yeah. Like no, really, nerves, no, no, nervous, no, no butterflies, no second guessing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's what I mean. Like, I'm not nervous because it's like such a easy, like, I, I know it's the right decision. Like, there's nothing to be nervous about. I haven't done any of that sort of thinking. And it's just nothing, our lives aren't going to change. It's just the party. And yeah. the only thing that gets me a little bit nervous is a speech, but I'm fine with speaking. Yeah. I do it. Have you, ever, well. have you already mapped it out? Yeah, pretty well. You know what you're going to say? Yeah, but there's just so much to say. And it's hard to, like, Write it down sometimes, and like I know that I'll just be able to say. Do you want it. me to stand behind you like Kairos and just have the hand on the shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> just no. uh, got your back, bro. No, nah, but I just yeah, I, I know a lot of it will be win because I know I'll just be able to say it on the spot. Do you reckon you'll cry? Um, maybe when she speaks. What do you reckon he's paying to cry? I reckon about a dollar seventy. Ooh. You're not the, you're not the emotional type. I've never really seen so you cry. Why, why are you giving me a dollar seventy? It means his favourite to cry. No, well, that, that's okay. Let's say dollar eighty, dollar ninety. It could still, be fifty, still, fifty. Yeah, that's still short. But okay, let's you reckon two dollars? Yeah. No, plus I, I, when she speaks, maybe not. Maybe I probably. I reckon. Speaks. I reckon he's more likely to cry when he starts speaking about her. No, because I say these things to her often anyway. All right, we love we love odds and we love making I love predictions. Love. Chop. Yeah, I love love you know? as well, and, and we love <laughs> love. Gangster. All right, first. Would Damon cry in his own speech, mm. in Hannah's speech? Probably not going to cry in Mason's speech because no. his will be very so, basic. So, <laughs> so Mace and Hannah's in sister are doing speeches? <laughs> <laughs> Ma- Mace and Hannah's sister are doing speeches? Yeah. Okay. All and right. then Hannah's dad. So I, I think you won't cry because crying is different to shedding a tear. Yeah. You will shed a tear in Hannah's speech. Yep. Oh, hang on, hang on. If he's fucking tears Ch- from Ch- your eyes, Ch- he's Ch- got to shed a tear. I'll probably <laughs> shed a tear. <laughs> nah, trust me. Uh, crying not, is different. Okay, and I've just sorry. Done it. What I mean is he's going to tear up. I don't yeah. think he's going to be like, <laughs> like howling. I, I just meant he's going to get teary. Right. Teary, you know. Teary-eyed in Hannah's speech. Yeah. In mm-hmm. your speech, you'll be clean as a whistle. Oh, yeah, just because it's easy, it's easy no, to say. No, because you'll be uh, so focused on, on the hang next. Hang on. You're missing you're a key next. thing here. Is she going first or is he going first? Because if she goes first, she goes first. he may already be teared up. Then he starts speaking about her and he could go, he could, he, good. He could go as well. Good, good thinking chop. He could go on both. <laughs> you just, just blew my mind. Yeah. And then I have to come in and wing the speech for him and just run with it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I have thought about that. I need odds. to find that out. <laughs> Mate. No, well, you're definitely after her. That's the Why? tradition. Is it? Well, it's no, a no, it's not. No, it's not. The, the Bro- bride never speaks. Bro- exactly. Yeah, Bride's then, really okay, speak. I've been to weddings where the bride has spoken. Yeah, but I'm and bo- the bride is sorry. All, the so groom always finishes. The groom speaks. It gives the, and then the the um the bride's dad does the, does the speech for the bride. The bride doesn't but usually the, do no, a speech. No, but all the fathers of bride, father, groom always go before the groom. The groom's always last. 
Okay, yeah. that may be the case, but no, the bride, but not, the bride but never really. I, mean. I don't think I've been to too many weddings where the bride's actually said It starts the marriage with the groom having the final say. So yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> and then that's the last. And that's time. the last one. <laughs> and that's the last time. And that's the last. And then yeah. you forego it. <laughs> nah, I think. Um, yeah, on odds that's on. A very, you just yeah. yeah, that's a very good point. Who yeah. goes first, mate? It's a tough one because once you start, it's kind of hard to stop. You get and emotional. Then, it's it's uh, and probably then, a bit hard for the big fight to keep it. Uh, <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna find that out real quick. I don't. Well, it's not normal that the bride speaks. I'm sorry, I don't agree yeah, with no, that. I, so it's gonna be interesting where she goes. She may want to go first because Hannah may get a little bit nervous. Yeah, that's what I think. Maybe. Yeah. Well, so speeches wise, have you given people timelines? Like, um, they can't go over a certain limit. No. Nah. So just speak speak as long as you want. I don't think anyone's gonna be too wanting rough. to speak too long. Do it. Do it. I think we've assigned like. Eight thirty to nine for all the speeches. Mm. Do, I have, do speeches? I have a, like a roaming huh? mic? You got about six speeches though, because I'm assuming your dad speaks. Yeah, it's Mason. Yeah, there's Hannah's dad. There's three minutes. Hannah's best. Hannah's um, maid of honor. Sister, yeah. Hannah, you. There's uh, there's six. Yeah. So chop uh, and then chop. Chop, chop makes <laughs> a speech. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep chop the nine finishes. on track. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a roaming mic? Am I allowed to do live interviews on a night? Yeah, uh, do it. Probably not. Not no. the way the back out's set up. <laughs> are, you, are you actually filming it? I don't know if we discussed this. Are you filming it? I think so, yeah. You should. It's your wedding. Yeah, yeah there's, there's all stuff sorted. Yeah. yeah, okay. Again. Again, above his pay grade. Okay, above my pay grade. Above your pay grade. <laughs> Go and pick up the beer tomorrow. Go and pick up everything. Yeah. That's, that's my pay grade. Well, we are extremely looking forward to it at any given take. We'll be having updates. This is any given take's first wedding. First, we've had a kid. No. We're on to well, the no, wedding. First wedding. First wedding. Yeah. Not first marriage. Though. Exactly. Good, Bruce. Good. Yeah, yeah. Bruce is married. First wedding. Yep. And um, look, you know... We're going to obviously speak speak about the wedding next Tuesday. Do you go into this wedding thinking you need to be the star of the show on the night? Not at all. No. No, that's my job. <laughs> that's, just, that's, <laughs> <to say. laughs> that's why he gets paid the big bucks. Yes. Yeah. But even the fact that we haven't done it traditionally with like a, a, like us getting married there and stuff, it's, Hannah doesn't really want it to be like a focus on us. It's like a celebration. Yeah. A celebration of love. Yeah. Do you know? And um, have you got love written in those lights? Uh, live, laugh, love, actually. <laughs> yeah. <in> the bathrooms. <laughs> dream big. Because I, I don't want to go to a wedding that doesn't have that. Yeah. So um, I don't I'm know. glad you do. And we've all got to wear all the blokes. Is this girls and blokes are going to wear all black? Everyone in black. Everyone's in black. There's right? a lot of confusion. Black pants, fucking chinos, nice jeans, whatever, and a black shirt. If you want to wear a jacket, you can wear a jacket. What if they want to wear a traditional white shirt, black tie? Black. Black, black, black. It's all black. All black. I've got to go buy a black shirt. So I just bought a black suit jacket. So I got that to chin, and then we got all got to wear kicks. Yep. So all the guys are going to be high kicks, tops, low tops, vans, whatever. cons. We're just not wearing traditional. No, no tuxes. No. So no, I'm looking forward to seeing what this actually looks like. I'm excited too. The house is going to look awesome. Yeah. 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 And do for parking wise. Don't, don't drive. Don't drive. <laughs> don't Uber drive. time. Uber. Although you might. Uber. Oh, my missus will be driving. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's gonna be walking. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> nah. we got we got Losh's week down pack. He's been getting ready for that. Brucey, how is a little Alessio? And how was your week? Oh, still tough. still fucking slumming it, aren't you? No. Well, I'm back tomorrow. Back tomorrow. tomorrow. Back to the grind. Um. No, nah, it's been great being at home helping Loz, and he's had a tough week because he's. Had a few issues, but yeah, he pulled through, and he's all right. He just he's uncomfortable in pain and all that stuff, and they can't tell you. So, yeah. um, what's that? Like, like colic or uh, reflux? Reflux and, and all that stuff. Yeah, had some gastro issues, but yeah, oh, it was a tough weekend all around. All around. Um, Lauren's granddad passed away. And she was a father figure for him, mm. for her. Sorry. Um, and yeah, it was an emotional weekend, but you know, having a Newborn distracts you a little bit, yeah. Mm. But it's still hard to process. He was, you know, the light of her life, yeah. And, um, you know, his Alessio's middle name is named after him. Um, you know, I, I probably think he stayed, stayed, he stayed alive as long as possible just to see him being born. Yeah. So, no, nah, it, it was, you know, not to be too somber, but it was hard. It was very hard. 
Yeah, yeah, for um, sure. definitely. And you know, being on the other side of the world, she can't go back to her family. Yeah. Um, makes it even harder. But you know, it's the circumstances of. I, I honestly thought like this is when COVID really sucks. Yeah, that's what man, I said to you. Like, it doesn't bother you until it fucking bothers you. Yeah, and then because like, I would have, we look, we all both would have, and we would have taken hit LSU as well, obviously. But we'd have been on the first plane. We'd have been back there. Um, but no, could you can't. get exempt with everything that's going on at the moment? No, because I mean, even over there, the weddings restricted to twenty people. I mean, wedding funeral restricted to twenty people. Um, it's hard. Look, you got to quarantine all that stuff. I'm sure if she could, she would. Um, but yeah, yeah. at this point in time, it's just not not worth it. The funeral, I think, is next next week, um, and we'll zoom in and we'll do what we can from here. Um, Crazy times, though. Yeah, like, you think about it, like you just zoom in for a few. Well, oh, look, I honestly, like, I've like, cried a lot. Yeah, on Friday. So I know you spent Saturday. a lot of time with him when he came to Perth yeah. last and, like, year, uh, or whenever it was. Lauren speaks to, spoke to him every day, FaceTime every day. And especially when he was born, every day he faced on. Yeah. But she would. So he got to see, he got to see. A little yeah, bit, so, yeah, he got to see him. He got to talk. Um, obviously talk to us. And but, um, Lauren, since I've known Lauren, she would speak to him five or six times a week. Yeah, right. No, mm. prob- more than like we'd probably speak to our parents here, and they're physically yeah. here. Mm. Yeah, like she for him was for him, for her was the father figure, was her father. Yeah. Um, and so it's hard for that, for her to get, to process that. It takes time. It's a day by day process. But like I said, he's not good, but you've got, unless you but he's in peace now. He was in pain. So, yeah, you know, he doesn't have to suffer anymore. And he's with his, um, his wife who he like, you know, talking about a man who you think, all right, who do you like go, who's the most. You're, if you had a daughter and said, "I want my man, I want my daughter to marry someone like this," yeah, he's he was eighty nine years old when he passed, but you'd go, he had all the qualities that you'd want yeah, in right. a guy for your daughter: loyal, family man, um, did everything for everyone else, um, loved his wife dearly, worked hard, everything like that, ticked all those boxes, and yeah, you know, obviously from an example point of view, you know, I got to know him in the over the last six years, like very well. But, you know, just being with Lauren, that's the hard part. Yeah. When you see someone you love hurt, yeah, that's... Yeah, for sure. I think it's a very harsh reminder but that... But kind of look... I'm oh, sorry. Go I was going to say, life isn't all sunshines and roses, even for the boys at AGT. Yeah. And uh, as much as we have fun doing this and talking shit and having a bit of a laugh, everybody's got shit that's going on in their lives that yeah. uh, isn't the easiest to deal with at times. I'm an honest person. I generally will tell people how I feel. I kind of don't hide it. Like, I, I cried, like, fucking mm. all day Friday, um, you know, Saturday. And then even today I was walking walking the dog, walking Alessio in the pram. You know, you have a moment to yourself and yeah, a few cheers. Sure. And it's not, you know, like, you just got to let it out. Yeah. So Better to get things out than keep them in. But, um, look, it's, you know, we pay our respects. May you rest in peace. Um He's a guardian angel now for my yeah, my son. Say, so got, as one passes, you got another one, en- one enters. So it's you always be looking over him. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, chop. How was uh, how was your weekend? <sighs> weekend, weekend. wasn't wasn't anything special really. Just uh, chilled out. We ended up going to Mace Turks, the big Turkish uh, yeah, the Bucks, Bucks party. Um, had a few bevies and stuff with them. They were on a completely different level to me and Losh, but uh, completely different energy. All, all, all fun and games. Uh, very happy for Mace. Looking forward to the wedding on the twelfth of December, yep. um, and celebrating with uh, all the crew that uh, will be there on that special day for Mace awesome. and Jen. We love them. So it was an uh, interesting night. Just had a bit of fun with them, and then Sunday shoot out. Did a few things around the house. Had a nice dinner. And, um, yeah, pretty pretty chill. It's pretty tame. There's a lot that's starting up this weekend. The, the festivities begin, yeah, obviously, with losses. Wash. So, um, for me, man, it was still recovering from the Bucks last yeah. week. That I am kicked so my ass, glad man. That we didn't do the Bucks the week before my wedding. Oh, no I way. Been, oh, no, you, you couldn't. No, have. We wouldn't have done it. You like, and anyone ever thinking about it, don't do it because it. It hurts. I look. I didn't wake up normal till Saturday. We're talking about season vets. We've all we've all partied and we partied for many a years. Mm-hmm. Obviously, don't do it anywhere near as much as we used to. But 
That kicked my ass up until about <laughs> yep. Thursday, I reckon. Thursday night, I semi started feeling better, and then Friday, I was I felt normal again. But yeah, just a weird shit, like feeling anxious. Well, and I can remember yeah. that same. Oh, I was just feeling not sleeping properly. I was feeling emotional. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> remember back Absolutely in the day, kicked your ass. they used to do it the night before the wedding. Yeah, that's what I don't. And go. they went hard. Like they didn't like go. Oh, I'll lose a couple of drinks. No. It was normally yeah, like you went fucking full hog. I don't get that. Why would you ever do that? How could that? you do that? How could you? And then rock up and be happy at your wedding the next day. You just want to... That's fucking... back when men were men, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah, that was that was the week. It was a quick, pretty quick week. I mean, it's a fast-paced finish now to the end of the year work-wise. So uh, we're going to get numbers on the board, Full get runs ahead. on the board. Full steam ahead. So well, what have we got now? Five and a half weeks to a Chrissy? Oh, fuck. I haven't even oh, thought about Christmas, fuck. mate. Yeah, can you believe how quick that's going to come up? So bloody Honestly, quick. it's a day by day thing. And we've. Uh, I'm going to get through Saturday. <laughs> and then I got Hannah's birthday. And then I got Christmas. Yeah, yeah, shit thing is, right? So we have. Oh, open Hannah's up. claiming birthday. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's 23rd, it. though, of December. 21st. 21st, 21st, yeah. That's a while away, mate. Yeah. That's, still, that's light. That creeps up as well. <laughs> yeah, <it does. laughs> so the shit thing is, obviously, we open up the borders on the 14th. And now the borders are shut again to SA. And anyone that has so they've any shut it to SA. SA completely shut because they had a second wave. What, the whole country, the whole or country, just, country yeah. whole country shut to SA, and it's just like, well, why open them? Because that shit's going to keep happening no, until you got it. You got it. You got you got to open at some point. You yeah, but, can't. You can't leave it closed because, like, but you know, Adam, the shit's going to happen consistently until they get right, a vaccine. So hypothetically, chop. Yeah, you close it. Australia gets down to zero, right? Then what well, you? Don't you want to open the international borders? That's not happening to the end of next year, mate. That's right. So okay, but that's what I mean, right? So when that happens, this when they open the international borders, there will still be cases around. Oh, look, absolutely. But this is all they wanted is it to be. What I'm saying, I'm talking about more the WA government. This shit's going to happen until they get a vaccine. There's always going to be some spikes and weird stuff happening. You're going to have a few, you know, outbursts of coronavirus happening. It's going to happen. It happened in Melbourne. Now it's happening in SA. Even if you leave it two or three months, it will happen again somewhere. So what I'm saying is either you open the borders, let it go, or just keep all WA the, shut. Because yeah. all that's happened now is take my brother's industry, the, the events business. They're shutting down all these events mm. because they open up the borders and they want to restrict people just in case there is an outbreak again. Yeah. So, But if everyone's tested on entrance and... Yeah, but because it could take fourteen days to come into effect, so they're going to get yeah. tested twice. What? What? But like, but ice cream where, factory it, shut down. Yeah, but so gone those, to next year. Those people down. that tested, I, I, I haven't really been following what happened in South Australia, other than knowing that, yeah, you know, a few cases in the north came that, came from one of the hotels again. All right, so that one of the was workers. someone that came in quarantine. Quarantine had it. The hotel worker hotel got worker. it. Right. Came in contact. Again, driven to the family. It's like people taking shortcuts and not caring enough. That's yeah. what causes the downfall. Absolutely. Not, not the, oh, okay, um, you know, borders or anything like that. That that quarantine visitor was always coming there, right? It's, we're getting them coming into WA. Like, they go into a hotel, they stay there for 14 days. If the staff members in that hotel aren't following strict protocols, mm. we'll be at risk. Well, that's and what that I mean. doesn't, that doesn't give, that doesn't, that, the borders got nothing to do with that. Well, that, but that's what I'm saying. It could happen anytime, anywhere. And now they're restricting an industry which has a lot of people, gives a lot of people jobs. Stuff, ice cream factories cancelled next year. My brother's got, I think, two or three gigs. Wait, cancelled or has it been postponed until March? Po- postponed melted. To, yeah. What? Melted. It melted. Yeah. It melted. Well, that's what happened when you live out Then you the got sun. you got Origins New Year's <laughs> Eve. My brother's got two gigs on New Year's Eve. They're all going ahead, tickets sold, nearly pretty much sold out, and now they have to resubmit an application to actually have the events. After being given the green light, sticking to the restriction, the stage four restrictions, they now have to submit an mm. application. It's dumb. It's destroying an industry. You're like, you're going to completely wipe out. If it already isn't, it's going to get completely wiped out if they keep doing this. So it's like, well, wh- what do you do? We're going to yeah. have to live with this virus for quite some time. Do you just start living with it properly and just open up Survival the borders the and then just contain it? New South Wales seems to be doing a pretty good job of containing it. They've still got active cases every day and they're containing it. Or is it just, Shut the borders, keep WA closed off the way we have been, and we just keep ticking along the way we are. Mm. Oh, I don't know, mate. It's tough. Oh, no, thankfully, we're not the ones making, making a decision on any that. decisions. Mm. Coronavirus. But, yeah, we 
<laughs> just want it to be over. Yeah, yeah. don't we? But they're saying there's a, another around. vaccine in America now that's 94% success rate. E- effic- efficacy. Yeah. Um, but look, with any vaccine, it's going to take time to sort of get into the mainstream and to the majority of the population, all that stuff. But, you know, if we can... I personally would love to be able... I want to take my son to Scotland soon. Mm. Is it before a wedding or anything like that? Um, so I'd love for that to be. Can't see that happening next You're year. You're going to be that couple on a flight with the crying baby. Yeah, all the way to Scotland. Fuck, that's going to be interesting. Part of my French. Um, but like private. Fr- flying, like private. Flying, private jet. Yeah, flying with a baby can't be a pleasurable experience. Surely not. Yeah. Never, it, flying in general is not pleasurable. I don't like it unless you're flying business class or something like that. It sucks in coach. Yeah. Fourteen hour flight, no matter how you spin it, absolutely sucks. Zan next. Yeah, that's how I usually do Good it. Night. And then you wake up with like an hour or two to go. It's like Hollywood, yeah. but it Wait. still sucks. Like sleeping, like sitting up, and like yeah. the stupid yeah, flying cushion. does suck. I, I haven't missed flying. Mm. Um, flying does suck, but you know. So necessary <laughs> to get to where you want to go. <laughs> true, um, true. Unless no. you want to take a cruise. You see, they tried to, they did like a trial on cruises or something like that because they've been shut down so long. A company invited a bunch of people to like to trial it, you know. Isn't it a Disney cruise, cruise or something? Something yeah? like that. Yeah. And then the morning they had one case and then by the <laughs> afternoon it was five cases and now they're just stuck in the water. Again, another cruise ship just would. Why would you cruise. even go on the cruise ship? What would possess someone to do that right now? I don't know. How dumb are people, no man? One, no one would let them port anywhere. No, why would you? They're done. Stay out there. <laughs> dumb so asses. dumb, man. Very dumb. So dumb. Well, moving on to dumb things, our, one of our favourite segments, Answer the Internet. We've got some – we had some inquiries or DMs from people this week, so we thank you, to, submissions. thank you to the fans for sending them through. Keep doing that Keep because we going. will get around to every single one of them. Um the thousands and thousands of them that they have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we've got one. Um, well, Mule's got one. He'll oh, read yeah. that out. But we, we'll, we'll wait for that one. So the first one for tonight. Actually, sorry, we won't do that one. Because <laughs> that one will lead into... Um, no, no. We'll just, oh, go, just go, on that, go on the one you we'll want. We'll go on that one. Okay. What do you do when you have to shit when you're at a girl's house? Oh, <laughs> See that's you know. Isn't that a nice one to start? I have done it at a at a girl's house, (laughs) right? Girl, you're you're trying to hook up with or dating? No, just some random bird's house. Well, random bird (laughs) hooked up, but um, I didn't care for the girl, so I didn't really care that I had to do it. (laughs) Um, so yeah, and I remember doing it, and then as soon as I did it, she was still asleep. I, li- I ran out of the fucking house. <laughs> right. And Wait a I minute. remember walking you, you up. You shat and run. Yeah. No, no, it's called the dump and dash. The dump and dash. Right. And I, what remember, do you mean? I remember like, it Why was, would you just it was go probably back to like bed? fucking six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And um, I had a big night the night before. So I thought, no. Ooh, I woke tummy. up. Yucky tummy. And reality had set in. Ooh. And I decided I didn't want to be there anymore. <laughs> but I had to get rid of it. And um, yeah. I remember walking up like a kilometre up the road. <laughs> this was back when like you didn't have Uber or anything like that. And uh, I had to, well, I walked to a train station. Yeah. Where um, the hell were you, man? <laughs> I don't know. I think it was in like... That's probably the most no, alarming thing like, out of this story. Where Vic, was Adam? Vic, Vic Park or something like that. He walked to a like, train, eh? Walked to a train station, um, way down a cab, because I think my phone was flat. So I couldn't call anyone or anything like that. And got a cab and got home and... Had a long and thorough shower. And look hard look in the mirror. And so. just good <laughs> <number>. <laughs> That is classic. Yeah. And I that, can't yeah. say I've I've ever done that. I remember one uh, oh I never did the dump and dash. I've never done I've that. Never done a that's f- that's fucking ballsy. I do it at servos and stuff, but I don't do it at <laughs> I've never done it at someone's house. I remember I remember I've had a similar story where we've had the old upset stomach and Woken up in the middle of the night and had to do. Well, you're one, notorious for having upset stomachs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, you and upset stomachs go hand in hand. Yeah, look. So you know, there's <laughs> been some fun. multiple instances where you've probably just a photo finish. <laughs> Man, I remember when we were in high school. It was a lot worse when we were in high school. Yeah, because yeah. I had actual 
fucking IBS. Yeah. And I remember <laughs> we were at a party in Balladura. And because you were the only one that drove, and we'd been there for maybe <laughs> half an hour, I remember we were all having such a and good time. I was time. looking up with a bird, and he I just, was, oh. just get, we gotta go now. <laughs> we gotta go now. All right, just we gotta go now. If you want to come with me, you come now. Otherwise, you're I'm on out. your own. I'm out. <laughs> the whole just flew home just so he could shit his. Why couldn't home. you just go to a Macca's? No, or I didn't make it home. I had to go to a Macca's. Oh yeah, you're right. Jura, bro. Yeah, no, that's right. You couldn't we have did, left them yeah. there, gone to Macca's, done what you have to do. No, nah, but back. it was later than what he's making it out to sound. Uh, nah. It was like eight 11. minutes. We'd been there eight minutes. Oh, piss off! I was hooking up one of the girls there. What do you mean? It doesn't take you long. Uh. <laughs> you got to do it. If you got to, sh- oh, I'm, okay. So, I. If I have to go, I have to go. There's a five minute window. <laughs> I've got to go. I was actually the other week talking to, I'm not going to say who about this. And he was saying that he has never been anywhere besides his house. No. No way. Come who on. Who was name that? Him. Right. Name you got to name him. him. You guys don't he know him. You have to name him. You guys don't know him. Okay. You have to name Hannah's him. Cousin. Okay. It's Hannah's cousin. And no way. He reckons. How? What's well, so at work? He doesn't. No. no. He, he's a um, spikes who drives, he's a plumber who drives around all day anyway. And. No, nah, goes home when he has that's, to. That's right? not possible. And I was like, "What do you mean?" He goes, at school, he would walk home from school if he had to do it, but otherwise, just hold it. Oh, I can't no hold way. it. Man. I've done it at fucking Red Sea Club Bay. Yeah. I've done it yeah. out. I've done I've it festivals. I'll, like you have, to, you've I'll, got a choice. I'll, go, I'll do it anywhere. But there's probably one. There's probably one type of place like you, you said, Red Sea. If it's a nightclub and it's like. Oh, if piss you, all over the seat unless, floor, unless if you're I'll late in the night, it's not happening. It's time. No. Sometimes go. I just I, I got no choice, man. If I get it upset, tell me. I get up to tummy. I haven't <laughs> tummy. I haven't told many people this. When we were in LA, oh, I know this. This is this. Is, wait, do you okay. want to tell people this? Because this is fucking. This was only nah, Damon. We we put it all out. Th- here this on was here. only two years ago. Yeah, it's so we're not funny. talking. We're not talking a young fight. So we're you're talking in, you're a middle age fight. You're in LA. All right. <laughs> so we went to a certain Australian. No, you can name it. We went to, with Daniel Ricardo, oh, and um, name drop. <laughs> <laughs> and he had rented a house in Beverly nice Hills. Place in Lovely Hills, right? house. So we're like, yeah, cool, cool. We're going to check it out. And yeah. I remember Mason and I were like, look, he's an athlete, and like, we're not going to bring weed there. Like, even yeah. though it's LA, it's legal. We're just no, very respect responsible. That. We respect Respectful. that. Yeah, we're just yeah. not going to bring weed there. So we get there, go to the top of the hill, and like you walk outside, and it just overlooks everything, much like that picture that's on the wall right now. Yeah. And then me and my sister sort of looked at each other like, "This is perfect. We fucking need weed here. Yeah. Like, this is about." And then we talked to him about it, and he was like, "No, that's cool." And he gave us the okay. So we borrowed your car. Yeah, we what had. Say, what do we yeah. have? We had a Dodge Challenger. Dodge Challenger. It's yeah. pretty cool. It's sweet. Left hand drive and all that. Jacked I, up. I, I hated driving in that left hand drive. Mason did all the driving. That was fine. <laughs> so we go to the weed store. It wasn't that far. <laughs> get our stuff, and then we go to a Seven Eleven. And I remember we no, we got petrol. Stopped to get petrol, and then I went behind the Seven Eleven because there was no toilet, and just went to go for piss behind a tree. <laughs> <laughs> and I was pissing, and then I just went to fart, like, <laughs> like it was just like that. <laughs> and then I remember just being like, "What the fuck?" And I like, "This is so gross." I looked down. The, like, the other, the other backstory you missed while Damon was in LA or in the US, he had what? How many burgers in how many days? We had. 37 burgers in 18 days. Oof. There you go. So average of pretty much two burgers a day. Yeah. This is probably the promise. catalyst of uh, why yes. you, this story yeah. occurred. All yeah. right. So <laughs> you, you've gone to do the little fart while you're taking And then the it's just gone, and I'm like, no. Uh. And down, like, it spread like fucking wildfire, <laughs> man. <laughs> I can't explain you it to you. Did you shout? <laughs> it sharted so bad, but it was just like. Did you feel it just run down the back of your legs? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> like, <laughs> I had boardies on without jocks. So maybe just went uh, out. And I remember just standing there, and then like I took a step, and it just smudged <laughs> and like, <laughs> like just wiped, and it was just got worse, and it was like this off. And a Mason was in the car. I was like, bro, what the fuck? And he's, like, and he's just loose and laughing. And I'm going, go in there and get me some wipes or something like that. He's like, no, nah, you're on your fucking own, right? Like. <laughs> oh, so you right? still, still have the servo? Lynn, still still have the servo, right? Oh, and these man. Shitty, shitty fucking board shorts. Why couldn't Lynn get you some fucking wipes? Because he was just laughing. <laughs> so I go in there, waddle in there. They had no wipes, no <laughs> nothing like that. Nothing like a baby wipe or anything like that. Just paper towels. <sighs> so I just grabbed a three pack of paper towels. <laughs> And I remember because we had their car, I was like, I can't get in the car. Like, yeah, damn straight. Car. Fucking, no, just, not even a hire car. It was an Airbnb car. 
Well, so you you, over in LA and that, just for the for the fans at home, for uncultured you, swine. You can Airbnb cars in oh. LA. So we Airbnb this bird's car. It was a <laughs> chick's car for seven, no, eight days. Eight days that we're there. Anyway, I didn't want to get cucked in the car. <laughs> 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 so I mummified myself with these paper towels and just wrapped myself in it. And like, it was just the lowest I've ever felt, man. Like I could have, <laughs> I could have got hit. Hit by a car ride, that would have been happy. Like, I just wanted yeah. to get out of the situation I was in. I remember getting in the car and I just started Googling like bodies of water. So like, hang on, <laughs> hang on. Are you sitting in the car? Yep. So you've mummified. Got the, you've got mummified. The, so you've mummified on top of your clothes? Of my board shorts. <laughs> I left the board, I just wrapped myself around all the way to the feet like a mermaid, like my feet are <laughs> stuck together. And I was just Googling like a public swimming pool. We were in West Hollywood. Yeah. Like there's nothing like that. I was looking for a gym maybe. I was like, oh, fuck, I'll go and sign up to a gym right now if it's just <laughs> going to get me in there. I couldn't find anything. I even went on the like um, satellite view, the Google Earth view, and where I was, it was just zooming in looking for like a lake or just some water. <laughs> I just wanted to, you know, like you see parks with just little yeah. lakes. And uh, I was like, I would have just gone and jumped in there. <laughs> we're too far from the beach. Look up where a Macca's is. And like the Macca's are everywhere. You can yeah. barely drive 10 minutes without a Macca's here. It was like 18 to 25 <laughs> minutes to get to a Macca's. So we drive to this Macca's and I spent the whole time. It's this shitty little bathroom with Mason just passing me paper towels, wetting them and passing them over. <laughs> wetting them, passing them over. Wet, someone comes in like, no, nah, um, occupado. Like, not now. Nah. All I had we, on me, because lucky we had their car and our bag was still in the car. I had black jeans. So Oof. it's... Middle of summer, we're in gone back to this pool, this house and stuff. And I got jeans on. I left in board shorts. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've been gone fucking an hour and so, a half. No, 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 no. It was longer than it's that. It was about two longer. and a half hours. Gone so me and Anthony while. going. Anthony Middle comes up to me hours. and goes, because Anthony's actually put his car down on this particular thing. So he he's gone white and gone. Where the fuck are these guys? And I was like, and if there's two, that's a good point. They've been gone away. <laughs> if there's two people you think that a long gonna time. To, it's probably going to be me and him. <laughs> so then. I've had to put jeans on, walk out of there just feeling miserable. And then we get back to the house and obviously I'm in jeans and yeah, like... You've changed your outfit. Yeah, yeah. what's happened? Why have you taken so long? And me, quick thing, I was like, oh man, when we got to the petrol, I thought it was done. This is actually really good. Smart. I thought, I thought it was done because it did that automatic click thing and I oh, pulled yeah. it out and then I got covered oh. in petrol and I didn't want to get your car all oh, fucked up in petrol. Good backstory, so bro. I, and I just... Just exact same story, but instead of poopy pants, it was just petrol. <laughs> petrol. Instead of poopy bum. And then I remember, this is pretty gross. I remember, um, this is actually very gross. <laughs> I asked one of the guys if I could borrow some board shorts. He's like, yeah, no worries. Mate. He's a good guy and all that. I remember getting in and jumping in the pool. And just while I'm sitting in there, like, well, no one's looking at me. Just rubbing my legs. <laughs> like, just cleaning myself. Just like the little remnants. Dan, and I was like, oh. Danny Rick oh. may hear this. Lucky he didn't, he didn't buy that house. I hardly doubt that he would hear oh. this. Yeah, that but water's tainted. That yeah. is tainted. Anyway, we went on to have a great night with the, with the crew. I remember they all went out and we were like, no, no, we're good here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll just stay here and watch that. He's, great. he's a great man, Danny Rick, and um, um, we look forward to, to maybe catching up with him if he if he comes back over the summer period. But Guest on the show. Nucci was we don't know him that well. Nucci, yeah. was, saying, <laughs> <laughs> Nucci was saying I think he's going to stay over over there just because it's a mission oh, to yeah, come back you? in. Why would you bother? Yeah. But uh, no, Fuck, that is story. So anyway, to answer the question, funny story. To, to answer the question, um, yeah, you just got to go and shit. Yeah. I've, I've, you turn on the, you just say, oh, can I have a shower? Oh. Can I have a shower? You go in there, you turn the shower on, you, you do your, do you think? Yeah, your gutty. That's and right. And then you get to have a shower afterwards, you use a bit of deodorant after, like even heard you and be like, oh, I saw that there. So then you just <laughs> 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 Give me the old fuckers oh, out there. Oh, All right. Man. But then when, when you're engaged, you just shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just do everything in front of her. Like, You're lucky if I flush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next question. I do it with the door open. Oh, yeah, so, for sure. So, next question. Now, did this come from your bro? Uh, I don't know. The chef one? No, nah, that was. No, that was Stephen. So, this was a fan submission mm. from Stephen Babenko. Ah. And it was a good one, I reckon. He I said, reckon it what is. What would you rather have? Your own full time personal chef or your own full time personal maid? <laughs> Ooh. So the maid obviously makes the beds, cleans up. Does your washing. Does washing, everything like that. Where Obviously, we know what a chef does. But I was thinking about this today. I love food. Mm. And if if it's good food, mm-hmm. 
I'll take the chef because mm-hmm. I can handle cleaning up, mm-hmm. like cleaning so up, you, whatever. Verify, you can go to this guy any time of day and night and mm-hmm. go make Full me time. make me a cheeseburger, yeah. make me this. He lives in the basement. Make me a cupcake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would hands down go chef. Oh no, you wouldn't have to ask because it'd just be brownies baking because yeah. he's bored. Hand, yeah. Hands down, chef. Pavlova. Hands down, chef. It's it's like the Rock. You know how the Rock goes shows his cheats meal. Yeah, and so he gets like a bacon cheeseburger and always looks fucking elite. Yeah. Now you can wait. Oh, oh, like last few days, I've been craving um, a bacon cheeseburger, but you know I've got a wife and I'm still looking after a baby. I can't just get a bacon cheeseburger. I, I have. Yeah, it's called Uber Eats. No, but like, like I'm not going to order one for myself. Like it's like normally like I, I I felt like it for dinner, but you know Loz doesn't want to eat a bacon cheeseburger, so I kind of just go, you know what, I won't have it. But That's if I had the chef, I could just go exactly. bacon cheeseburger. Oh. And Loz would go, I don't want that. Well, you don't have to have it. Yeah, here's your asparagus and <laughs> massage kale salad with quinoa <laughs> and fucking salmon. But I I worked in kitchens for 17 years from KFC to having my own to, yep. you know, yep. and like I now, for a little bit, I got back into cooking a little bit. But I just hate, I don't enjoy cooking that much. I don't mind barbecuing and stuff like that, yeah. but I don't prep and the cleanup. I hate the, I, I avoid cooking because of the cleanup. The cleanup's shit. But obviously we're cleaning up. We got the chef. Like the chef is the chef cleaning up. Oh, yeah, I'm I can have. Yeah, okay. absolutely. I'm not touching. I don't seating. mind. I don't mind cleaning the house. I don't mind doing my washing, folding yeah. my washing. No, I mean, that, I, I, that I does, do does not bother me whatsoever. I'm pretty clean. Like I'll clean dishes. I'll, I'll I mean, I'm not do everything. Clean, clean kitchen. But like, you know, a couple Spray times. Spray right. Tidy up. No, vacuum. That's no worries, but I'm pretty tight. kicking a uh, cooking a, cooking blue but. Cleaning a kitchen is the worst. I That's hate dishes. I hate cleaning the stove. My like. brother sucks as well. You know when he's cooked because there's just shit everywhere. His clean up is like half assed. Yeah. It's it sucks. Still a bit so sticky and if you yeah. were to ask me, chef, one thousand percent, and I don't yeah. have to do any of the shopping. He does it all. Yeah, yeah. chef. Yeah, hands the down. shopping sucks as well. And like, look, and the thinking of what to have for exactly. dinner. Exactly. Like and exactly like having someone just go. I know what you both like. That's why at the start I go listen. I'm gonna get married in three months. I need to lose as much weight. Here's my macros or whatever you call them. I don't know what that. <laughs> Here's my diet plan. This is what I like. Yeah. Use these combinations of these foods. Bang. This is what I'm allergic oh, to. I'd be so fit and lean. Oh, you just, and every just. Well, you'd eat better. Just because like I. Like if you didn't want him to cook brownies and shit, don't cook brownies. Don't cook brownies. Yeah. That's it. That's a great question. Thank you, Stephen, for sending that through. Yeah. Keep them coming, guys. On to the next one. If you could only have one TV channel forever, what would it be? ESPN. Yeah. Oof, ESPN. HBO. Yeah. Oof. Oof. HBO. You'd, sac- you'd forego sport. HBO has boxing. HBO has sport. Yeah, but not, yeah, all, but not sport. all sports. HBO Still Max. got some spo- sports, sorry. And that includes like HBO Max and all of that. That's yeah, all right. So, so you just watch Sopranos, uh, Curb, and <laughs> Breaking Bad for the rest of your life. Oh, that's not Game bad. of Thrones and Never every other great TV nah, show. it's got to be ESPN. There's yeah. everything I need there. I mean, I'll, I'll miss out on the footy, which sucks, yeah. but I'm getting a lot of other stuff. FA Cup even. It's a hard one, isn't it? Because no. is. now it's streaming. Like, remember back, like yeah. there was no streaming services, and so the channels just had the sport, whereas now Optus Sport has... Premier League and internationals, like um, even probably over the next couple of years, you'll find that they'll just move to mostly streaming. Like the NFL and all Game that. Pass is like, yeah. Like for Actually, that's all I need. NFL Game Pass. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be good for that. It's just tough. ESPN. Yeah, no, but it's yeah. not a channel. Why don't you just name but every other channel? There's not a channel. It's just being. I'm not, I'm not going to entertain you. <laughs> but do you get ESPN2 as well that goes with that? Yeah, you get ESPN. All the way to eight. You get Ocho. The Ocho. The Ocho. The Ocho. You, know, you know what? If I, was, if I was 14, 15, I'd probably say... Fashion TV. Nah. Oh. Adult Network. Yeah, when you're that age. Uh, yeah. That's why you just watch a fashion network. And then every Remember now the fashion see-through. TV? Yeah, right. you see a see-through top every now and then. Oh, yeah. Or the photo oh, shoot oh, or something. Oh, the, it was the unbelievable. The lingerie. Yeah. The lingerie yeah. when they used to do the kit. The, the little Victoria's Secret little yeah. um That's the best parade. channel on Foxtel. <laughs> yeah, that's all you <laughs> needed, eh? Fashion TV. Yeah. Cool I story. DJ at a fashion TV party in Russia. Oh. St. Petersburg. Yeah. At the W Hotel. Was that on a rooftop? That was on the rooftop. Yeah. Me, Luke, and uh, Jay Vincente. 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 My Portuguese <laughs> brother from Rocco. Um, 
we DJed at a fashion TV party. It was quite the experience. I, I will say that. First. Okay, I'm what was the TV. if you're shop? If you're going to talk about an experience like that, can you give us a little snippet of what the highlight was? Like the actual highlight? Was there a bird? Was Would have there? been maybe 50, 60 girls on this rooftop and ten blokes, and they were some. of the hottest people you will ever meet in your life, all walks of life, all different countries, Brazilian, uh, obviously Russian, um, Ukrainians, there's Polish birds. Shit thing is, hardly any of them spoke a word of English. Yeah. And so you definitely you're try- don't speak Russian. And I definitely don't <laughs> speak Russian. And you're trying to communicate with these girls and they are looking at you like you are just a... Uh, Speaking absolute- another language. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Nowadays, like, you just oh, talk to your phone. Hey, well, that's Australian, I mean. Australian. Yeah, no, but yeah, he yeah. would have had that. Cool. That, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> you should have had that back then because I remember when I you was know, in Brazil, we used to use the app. On the phone, and yeah, we type, did, and we go, we show them. Dude, and they type, you're not they thinking about that. Well, yeah. I was just like, uh, yep, yeah, go speak to. But plus, some with girls his auto, were like, with his typing yeah. on the phone, it <laughs> wouldn't translate. My <laughs> fast typing. <laughs> oh, that would be good. No, and to me, met some lovely people, but that would have been cool. Like, so Jay literally lived in the W Hotel for about three months. Don't ask me how he hooked this gig up, but he lived in the hotel for three That's months. Sweet. DJ'd every night. Besides, I think like a Thursday and a Tuesday or something like that. Footy training, Tuesday, Thursday. And he <laughs> and he just lived inside the W Hotel and DJed on the rooftop. Every so how night. long was he there? For? Three months in Saint uh, Petersburg. So that's why me and Luke went to let me, to visit him, and we got a gig there. How long do you reckon you could cope living in a hotel? You reckon you could do it for a while? I could do it for a while if I had a like so a he, suite. Yeah, like a oh yeah yeah. I don't mean I don't mean a room, not yeah, just yeah. a room because I couldn't do a yeah, room. So like a Vegas room. So Vegas the, rooms yeah, are awesome. So the W Hotel rooms over there were like. Yeah, yeah. I had my own room, so we got comp rooms for a week, oh. pretty much. It was crazy. So we stayed there for a, for a week, played one night, on, and then I played. Then we played another night as well. We helped, were helping Jay out, but um, with the room I had was had two king size beds in it, and like a table and that, and then massive shower. Like the shower would have been probably half this room, yeah, and just That's big. What massive I, want. I probably big need shower. like a, yeah. a couch with the TV. Mm-hmm. Had all that, yep, right. Um, we don't need a kitchen. Do you, would you? Ha- we don't need a kitchen because that's what the room service room service is for. And I nice bet just a bit of space. If I had that, I could live in it. Yeah, yeah. it was easily easily livable. Like Jose Mourinho left in that left oh, yeah. lived in a hotel when he was the whole, the whole time at Manchester United. Yeah, and he actually probably saved money because if he had to buy a house or rent or whatever, it would probably cost four times more. Yeah, yeah. but he like if he would have had the it's elite, like, like he would have had a penthouse suite. It's like those um. Like when celebrities uh, book Vegas for, you know, they play in like mm. uh, Chris Angel or whatever. He's in Vegas every night and they just put him up at the hotel. And yeah. You stay there, you just order it up, <laughs> room service, yeah. everything. So Jay had unlimited, like, I think he had like, uh, he could spend a hundred bucks a day yeah, right, so on food know. and then just get comp. So you order breakfast, he goes down to the buffet breakfast, come out, you can do whatever you want. But Why did he leave? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, good question, but great experience anyway in terms of that. Oh. So... On to the final question for today. How do we get on to that? Uh, TV channel. Yeah. Fashion TV. I see. Have we done three? We've done three, haven't we? And there's one see more. It. We'll be one more. Chef. There's one more. And we will find it. Here we go. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> is it? Real no. professional. No, we just we, we, I had it, but then I lost it. Yeah, because yeah. as soon as you go out of lost the app, your, it resets. Your train set. You never had your car. <laughs> I think you just have to pick the next one you see. Come okay. on, chop. What is the best bullshit excuse you've said to a girl to avoid texting or hanging out with her? Oh, <laughs> sorry, ladies, but uh, bullshit excuse. Best. Bullshit excuse you've said to a girl to avoid texting or hanging out with her. I mean, if you take out a girl, a, a number of times I've probably said, I've made something up just to get out of a like an event. Yeah. Okay. Like if I if it was someone that I wasn't really that close friends with, you know, like 10 years ago, you get invited to everything, right? Yeah. And you're like, oh, I can't be fuck going, but I don't want to seem like a prick and just not show up. So I'll message and say, I've got my cousin's yeah. birthday. Like, Large Dog was notorious. He had 
He has so many cousins. He just <laughs> throw that he'd throw that excuse out all the time. Birthdays. We don't even know how many of them are I, true anymore. We there's don't even four, question there's it. thirty cousins, <laughs> yeah. but he had like sixty birthdays throughout <laughs> the year. So, like, you could throw that out. Like, I, I haven't used it on a girl because, like, if I was interested in a girl, I could probably still go through with it. Like, I, I, I remember I'm once not, years ago, Monty. Well, I was, a girl was meant to come over. And then Monty messaged me wanted to come over instead. And I was like, ah, oh, yeah, that sounds better. And I remember <laughs> just saying that my accountant had to come over. <laughs> this is when I had the cafe. Oh. And, and I forgot that I had a meeting with the accountant. He was coming over my house. And, like, I sent it a bit late and she was sort of already almost at my house. Oh. And then she pulled up and saw the car at the front. And I just came at the front. And luckily, Monty had his dad's BMW. And so he could pretend something like a car to... like that at the time. Oh, yeah. I can't remember what a car it was. And I remember just saying, oh, yeah, no, nah, he's here. I met her at the front. So I've got to go inside. She so believed it. She believed it. Yeah, she doesn't. Or I, <laughs> I, I, I distinctly one time I would have been Distinctly remember Distinctly remember sorry <laughs> This one time This yeah. one time I would have been 17 It was school holidays Or 16 16 or 17 I made a girl come All the way from Canning Vale <laughs> On a bus Oh Yep She got to my house And I was just like Nah she <laughs> got on. She got on a bus. She got on a bus because she didn't have her license yet. And she got to your house. She got to my house, literally on the on the doorstep of Kookaburra, and I just said, "Nah." I Why said, did you say no? Just not. Was but it you, a blind like, date? Was no, it wasn't even, blind date. I don't, um, how do I explain this one? Without sounding like a dick. Yeah, nah, oh, I was a dick move. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're already a that. dick, so you <laughs> made yeah. own it. Already a dick move. Oh. <laughs> Come on so This other girl Wanted to hang out with oh. us. So, <laughs> Such a dickhead move I, I, I'm guessing You never saw that bird again Oh no I saw her again oh. I'll tell you afterwards Have some respect For yourself ladies uh, <laughs> If you if you get If that stunt Was pulled on me I'd never see that person again Had a great excuse though What was your excuse? IBS <laughs> no, <laughs> My mum had broken down And I had to go run out um, And feet change a tyre for her Mm. And I couldn't bring her with me because. Well, why couldn't she wait at the house then? Oh, because my whole point was mum wasn't home, so I was inviting the girl over for, to, for a cheeky, <laughs> and didn't want <sighs> mum couldn't have mum in the house. You made Just a girl wet on candy chop. Yeah, Come look, on, it wasn't man. one of my proudest moments. It was an asshole thing to do. You're not like that anymore. Absolutely not. No. He orders some Ubers now. <laughs> <laughs> but I just remember feeling so shit after that. I was so like, you, you should. are. A Fucking prick. You are. Yep. We've well, we've learned a lot about each other tonight. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was tough. Uh, all right. Any more questions? Any, Any more, more questions? No, that's it for answer answer into it. So, guys, we've said it. We want you to keep sending them in. We're going to read out a couple every week. The more we get from you guys, if we didn't get around to your questions tonight, don't worry. They're in the bank for next week or the week after that. So, keep sending them through. Anything you want us. Or me to ask the lads. Doesn't matter. There's no hold. Slide into Chop's DMs. Slide he loves into it. the any give and take DMs. There's a good chance he'll probably have sex with you as well. Jesus Christ, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, moving on. The week, right. the week that was in sports. AFL trade period. What a last bunch week, of wankers. Sorry? You didn't want to talk about last it? Last week, you didn't no, want to talk about we're it. Talking about it. What a bunch of wankers Collingwood and are. This week, let's talk about yeah. it because you're right, Chris. They're the shittest club in the land. Well, bunch of wankers. You know what? I, I, Don't all what me. They are no, no, a bunch no, no. of wankers. I think they they were me. stupid in the way they went about it. Oh, all you had to disclose was we got pressure on the salary cap. Yes. So we're going to offload a few guys. That, That's it. That look. We like them, but we don't. We can't. We exactly. can't. We can't have everyone. And looking forward, it's a bright yep. interest to the clubs. Right? Right. Like you make something up. You get a fucking someone Never. who works. Your get press on the front release foot. person. Get on front. And foot. do it. You don't say. The, the other players didn't warm to him. He oh, didn't put himself would, out oh, there. The wife, wife moving to Queensland. What's that, what what got to interest any, sorry, you know what's what? that got to do with anyone they else? They were like, we have to spin this because our fan base is going to spit the shit that we're getting rid of probably our number one midfielder. Yeah, I know, but it just makes And we have like to spin. They are, spin it no, better. They, no, but spin it better. No, honestly. Someone to do and then Eddie's pressure? like, well, if anything, we, we've been too loyal yeah. to our guys by giving a long, long-term long contract. What do you mean you're moron? It's a business. It's poor what cap. Management, all that stuff. What's we get name? that Nick Guy or Ned Guy, but Ned it wasn't Guy. his That's fault because name. he only came two years ago. The shit name. It wasn't all his fault. He came two years ago. He inherited some of this, but like a couple of trades, like the Dane Beam trade, was just horrible, <laughs> and like stuff like that. But 
like they gave contracts to like Daniel Wells and Chris Mayne got a big deal, remember? Big deal. Um, and Levi Greenwood got a big one at a, at a North Melbourne. And he's nothing but nothing much more than a tagger. But all that stuff is like, I'd be much rather as a fan if my club said to me, "Look, we were we were runner up in 2018. We went for it. We thought, all right, we're going to keep the group together. We'll have another crack. But it's been a couple of years. We're now we we finished eighth, and we yes, we won the first final, but we got Heavily beaten. We need to actually make some changes. If they said that, oh look, and we've got some cap pressure, so we need. It. I guess they said they didn't want to say cap pressure because, yeah, other clubs would take advantage of that. But they were already going to take advantage of it anyway. Like my team <laughs> picked up Tom they Phillips. Got nothing. My, nothing. My team picked up Tom Phillips because they need to get rid of. They knew, like they like Graham As Wright. If other clubs the can't work Wright, it out for themselves. The, Graham Wright knew. He's like, look. Why else would they get rid of a guy who's a good player, 24 years old, played 89 games, he'd be in their best 22. Why else would they want to get rid of him? He's not stupid. So he's seen it. So they, you don't need to like, okay, we're not going to say it because we don't want to get – you're already going to get raped anyway. Yeah. And quite, are you guys paying him as much as they were, 600000 Well, I'd, look, I'd, I don't know. But like I'd imagine that they – like the Hawks would have done something clever. They would have extended it maybe a year, spread out the money, all that stuff. Like this is my time, not just saying this, but – they're better at managing the cap than, than Collingwood clearly has been. Like, it's – they would have said, we'll give you pick 65, which is a nothing pick, and we'll take the contract. And they can do whatever they want with the contract once it's at yeah. the club. So they can say, Tom, look, you've got a one-year deal. Yeah, let's make it two years. We'll, we'll give you an extra 100000 but we'll spread it over the over two, two yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they – like, Trelaw, he's probably – he's on a huge 900, wicket. 900000 um, With still, like, five years to go and all that stuff. So they, they have to pay some of his wage. I think three hundred k or something. Yeah. For the next. So the Bulldogs can get him for six hundred. Well, look. Let's just say there's a heavy free agent market at the end of next year. Like your boy Paddy Cripps is coming out. Like Josh Kelly's a free agent. Um, even though he's got an option to take up a long deal at GWS, he can still be a free agent. All those players are coming out. If you want to, like in the NBA, they just they go or. No, maybe not the NFL, but the NBA definitely, because when they know there's free agents coming in in certain years, they go, well, they'll fucking get yeah, rid of contracts. Yeah, and they would, they would acknowledge it. They'll go, we want cap space for fucking 2022. Yeah. Because yeah. so we know XYZ fucking Le- coming Kevin out, Durant's yeah. coming out, LeBron James is coming out of contract that year. We know that he can exercise his option. Normally they do. So we want to be ready. We want to have the cap space ready for them. Yeah. Like, it's a, it's a strategy. So what... Like, here, it's like, why don't you just fucking own it? Like, if you're Collingwood say, we've got these good players... They've expressed an interest to come to Collingwood. Collingwood's a big club. All right, we're going to free up some cap space. We're going to get ready for that. We could wait for another Two, year, year but it'll make it a lot harder next year. Let's do it now. Jaden Stevenson's on 600k a year. He's a third year, fourth year player, whatever he is. Not worth that. All right, we don't need him. Click him on. The Trelaw ones, I think, is what people are having trouble understanding. Because you what, pay- having un- understanding? Well, like- no, like. Because he's such a good player, you pay him that much. He's probably worth that much realistically. Probably a little bit too high, but you get him in from the club, and then you're getting rid of him because you 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 let him sign a five year nine hundred thousand dollar deal. Yeah, that's just that's stupid. Just not stupid like that, contract. Nah, and look, and lost it the other day. Is like, how do you keep your job if you're Ned guy? Whoever made the decisions on that. Like you look at what they got in. Compared to what got out, like they, they was, got, they lost four f- four players, yeah, and got pick twenty six. Pick twenty six. Well, so, you could like, like pick fourteen, or yeah, something. Or something like that. So it is perfect. So, look, if I, you can't negotiate if you don't have leverage, right? So, if you're like, for example, like Jeremy Cameron, GWS got three first round draft picks because they. Yeah, they took up the restricted free agent offer that Geelong put on. Wasn't it like nine hundred as well? Whatever it was, but they had the leverage because they had the contract. They they, they had the right to um to take it up. Yeah, and so they had leverage, so they can make Geelong pay for whatever yeah. they could. Collingwood We're, in pick fourteen, pick sixty five, pick seventy, and a future second round pick. <laughs> Out. Adam Trelaw, Jaden Stevenson, Tom Phillips, Atu Bosson Vulagi. <laughs> Pick twenty six, pick thirty three, pick thirty nine, pick forty two. Yeah, they got ass right. They got they got fucked. But how does that? How you, like that's that's the thing as well. It's f- fair enough. You got to get rid of the players, but they have not get something for them. They, they got, got 
something nothing. and then gave it away again. So the pick they got from Geelong or whatever. Or no, I love that going you know why? Too, yeah. the, they, they knew, all these clubs knew, they had to offload these players. So they're just like, we'll wait till the last minute. Well, Collingwood dug themselves into a fucking hole with Trelaw because they came out in the media, they put all that stuff out about him. Um, the teammates not liking him. Yeah. Um, his wife like was living in Queensland, I'm not sure. They, they put all that out. So they, for him, if at the end of that trade period, they couldn't get a deal done and you have to take Trelaw back into the club. Would have been fucking hard, awkward. Yeah, you know, someone's not going to play their best footy under those conditions. I would have told Buckley so, and the rest of them to go suck a fat one. Um, so I mean, from like from the point of view of uh, well, if you're going, um, yeah, if you're going to offload probably one of their key midfielders, you'd probably say, all right, well, out of Taylor Adams, Scott Penry, um, side bottom, side bottom. I can't remember the other, like, and there's other young guys that are obviously on better contracts that you'd keep. If you're going into those, yeah, you'd probably say Trelaw's the one that you could afford to lose. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Right. But then, like, again, like did, didn't put that out in the public forum. Like, they didn't do it well. I mean... No, I don't like the way they handled it nah. at all. And I don't need any help to hate Collingwood. Yeah. Yeah, sucked in, shit club, hate them. No. Nah. But there was plenty like we did. I think Carlton did well. Carlton, Zach Williams, Adam Sard, Adam Sard Lockie Fogarty. Lockie Fogarty. Like, you're building a side now. Yeah. So. If we don't need to go to the draft. We've just got enough youth around. We can you, you've, got a f- you've got your first round draft pick this year? Uh, uh, no. No. Oh, yeah, because you gave it to Sard. Yeah. yeah. First pick's 27 or something like that. Look, We've got enough around, I reckon. I'm happy Look, if Carlton... Progresses next year, makes finals, and then there's those free agents that come out. Obviously, you'd want to keep Paddy Cripps, and that's priority one. If we don't make finals next year, I think you'd say Paddy Cripps is probably going to go. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wouldn't blame me. if we if if we if we look like the same as old same old yeah. shit, then you got to like for me, he looks like a loyal guy. Yeah, I hope so. And um, <laughs> captains the club. I know, he but, loves Carlton. But what about the appeal of coming home, though? Do you know? Yeah, once you start getting a bit older and you want to start, a yeah, I mean, like Frio is a good side here, so you know he'd probably want to come back to Frio. Um, he probably want to you know, play for you know, the Purple Army and yeah. that stuff. Well, if you're going to come to WA, you're going to play for yeah. You know, well, you won't be able to make yeah. it. Eagles like Justin Longmuir is a good coach. Um, <laughs> the colours, they got, nice. they got an exciting young team. Frio, Dame on sweating in the corner right now. Man, I hate the thought of Patrick Cripps leaving. <laughs> I just ruined his wedding day, Adam. Yeah. I've only just gotten over Favola leaving. <laughs> ah, he should have never left Big Fev. Nah, it was fucked. They, Carlton were going to give him another chance, and he said, no, nah, I need to get out of here. Yeah. And that's why he went up, up the coast and didn't do much better. And then the dogs got fucking... Everyone. Heavy. No, they've got a midfield that... I don't know how Deep. they're going to fucking work it. There's nine, there's like, there's there's too nine many starting midfielders, midfielders there. there. Like, where are you going to put them? Bond will go forward. Like it, yeah, but like... Yeah, What's their best he's, midfielder? He's their best clearance guy. So, like, yeah, yeah, you put him up forward because he can play it forward. But obviously, they, they've taken the um, the NBA approach. Get as some teams, you get as many stars as you can, and then you work it out, right? So you get as many. They all fit somewhere. Well, you'll find a way from the fit. Do you know where? I they feel, don't always I feel work people out. People like Libba. Libba's not going to get in the midfield now. He's going to have to play no, half he, forward because you need some like what in like in any year of footy. If you don't have some defensive aspects to yeah. your team. You get found out. Doesn't matter how good the offensive players are, and they're all good offensive players. You need a liver in there because you need that balance. You need someone that's going to like every team has them. Like and every Premiership got, team has now them. Now they've just got options they can swap on the ball. You swap them forward. You swap them back. You yeah. go on the I mean, ball. It'll be fucking fresh legs. Good to watch. See how it goes. Bulldogs yeah. are going to be. Hopefully it blows up because I don't like the dogs. Um, really? Yeah, I don't mind them. I like, like how they I've play. Got, I've got no problem with the dogs. No, as a club, I like what they're as about. A squad. It's fucking. I, I hate them. like personally. I'm happy they won the flag because I'm happy for this supporter base. But yeah, this team, when I watch them, shits me because they throw the ball. And that, like, it drives me <laughs> out the wall. So handball the <laughs> fucking ball. I'll punish them. They fucking throw it out. Like, it, Lindsay Hunt, Jack, Jackson, um, Jackson McCray, whatever his name is, would just fucking throw it. And they don't get punished. Still, like, you can't handball, dream team points, you can't handball that quickly. Um, but so speaking of trades, the NBA fucking Didn't that had a up? couple. 
<laughs> and it's going to get bigger so and better. So Houston officially going to suck because they're losing well, everybody. They haven't <laughs> lost. Turned down fifty million a year to go to the Brooklyn Nets. James Harden, we're talking about. He had a fifty million dollar contract extension available. Yeah, be the first, on top. 50, first fifty, 50 million, million a year. A so year. a year. And he's gone. No, he thank been, you. He would have been the first. I want out. It was worth one hundred and forty mil. So um, <sighs> that's ridiculous. He's turned it down. Obviously, he knows he's going to get money. Maybe not as much, but he didn't. Doesn't. Westbrook just get there? No, Westbrook wants out as well. He's his well, like he just he got there the year yeah season this yeah. season. So yeah. oh, I said I thought you said he's in the league. But look, as well. the, no, just, Houston doesn't have to trade him because they they he's still got a contract in place. They oh, were looking but, at an extension, mate. The, yeah. the way it but, works over there, as soon as a player wants out, they just yeah. But they'll out. they'll they'll chances are that if they don't find like, it, have to be a blockbuster deal to get done before the season. But James Harden, they might hold on to him. They might let him play, like similar to like Chris Paul, who we'll get on to. Um, he went to the Thunder, was traded from the Rockets, got a um, yeah. You know, all year they were talking about Thunder. We're going to trade him, trade him, trade him because they did, they have had no interest in keeping him long term. But then he made the playoffs, and they sort of, and then this year they've traded him to my team, the Phoenix Suns. Good get. So hopefully we can fucking make the playoffs this year. It'll be it's been a decade. Very good get. Um. But I, I love the activity in the NBA, like the the movement, the fucking player goes there, whatever. But they just it's different to the nineties when like you could be loyal to a player because he was going to be there for a long time. Whereas now it's like you can't be loyal to a player. No, like you can be loyal to a player, but you have to follow it's, the player it's around. Every team but if you to follow make a, a team, team, like you know, if I'm talking about um, my team, Devin Book is the best player on that team. Like, there's a good chance in two years he might fucking want to go somewhere else. Yeah. That's why when you don't live in the place, it's hard to like. You, and that's a player, like, yeah. It's a player you support the you, team, but you yeah. know that these players well, they come. It's always a player Miami, that gets you to yeah. like that team. Yeah. Miami are pushing hard to get Yanis, and they were going to give up Bam and that ty- a Tyler Hero, and draft picks to get Yanis in there. <laughs> Yanis with Jimmy Butler. Giannis. Giannis, with uh, Jimmy Butler. The Greek freak. Uh, Ivan Drago. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I, mean, look, I don't know if that's Harden, a huge... How do you think Harden and Kyrie go together? No, nah, look, it, Kyrie's Kyrie, they, a soup. I can't see it. You know what it is? It's NBA 2K. So you get all the players. NBA 2K, it works because they don't have... Well, didn't, didn't, they don't have... They're not humans. They're fucking yeah. video game players. Didn't AD yeah. turn down his contract extension or he's opted yeah, out? Yeah, no, he turned down his player option, which yeah. was nothing because he knows. Because AD was a top five player before he went to the Lakers. Mm. Everyone knew it. That's why, like, yeah, they'll take the piss out of LeBron because he's got... He gets a top five player into his team and he wins a title. But um, AD will get the max, whatever he can get, at the Lakers. The Lakers were off from the deal because they're stupid to not – because he's, he's young enough. He carries that team when LeBron starts to wane off and he's the he'll be the number one. But um, LeBron reckons he's cherry-picking off him next year. So they're trying to get one more piece. Who do you reckon they get? Oh, look, there's a few out there, but I reckon – you know, Ooh, LA. Yeah, LA are trying to get one I more saw piece. I reckon Kuzma th- for someone. Uh, they were going after no, they DeMar, were go- DeMar DeRozan. Yeah, but yeah. he signed a contract extension. Let Derek Rose. With, nah, nah, he's like, he's done. Why not? You don't have to pay much to get him. Yeah, but just he's, get still, him. he's still he's still he's still him. playing all right. Yeah, but no. he's he's just like a role player. He's not going to do anything. Yeah, you know. They've got enough of those. They need another big piece to compete with. Everyone's forgetting the sleepers, Golden State. Yeah, they're all back. Golden nah, State Golden got a State very good draft good. pick as well. They got Curry, Thompson, yeah. Green, Wiggins as well. He came second half of the year. And oh, yeah, they're going to yeah. have a number two or three draft pick? Number two. But the number two, look, the draft this year isn't that great. Yeah, it's That's not, why I'm hearing they may trade, trade the pick away, get another piece, and then bang, Golden State Warriors are back in the hunt straight away. Only issue is yeah, well. the rest of the comp knows – that, that that number two pick isn't the same number two. So hop, like um, Kevin Durant went number two, for example. That number two is not worth that number two. Yeah, yeah. You so like Lamelo Ball or something. Yeah, you're not not really going to get like a um, uh, a franchise altering player. Having said that, like the Greek freak, he was a fucking pick 13, 14, whatever it was. Like he was that. Da- um, and there's a few picks like um, Luka Doncic, who's probably the next. Big great thing. Wa- great white hope. Great white hope. He was a pick six or something like that. That Atlanta traded to the Mavs. It's like, um, you don't know. Like, you don't but, know who's going to be. But you're right. The Warriors, yeah, they'll be, it'll be, it'll be a pretty, 
pretty awesome NBA. So you got to think it would be the Warriors, LA, um, Miami. If they can find an extra piece, they're definitely going to be up there. Uh, Brooklyn, God, if they can get James Harden, then they've got three pieces, and that doesn't that change the whole scene. That could yeah, have been the New York Knicks. That could have been the New York Knicks, and they could have come back. Probably one of the most well, the storied New York franchises. Knicks won't. They will not be anything while they're fucking shithead of an owner. Worst owner in sport. Worst owner in sport. Easily. Really? He's a prick, man. And that's even with Dan Snyder in wow. the, on the table. He is a genuine fuckhead. And, <laughs> and I'm happy to donate. There are so many people that. that have completely boycotted the Knicks until he's gone. Nah, he's... And he'll never go. Why would and, you, why you know, he's not gone because he owns the fucking... He, that is the most... Um, richest I'm NBA pretty sure team. it's the richest NBA yeah, the top team. five uh, sporting franchise in yeah, the world. Yeah, top five sporting franchise. And they own... The like, Cowboys, they own Yankees. Madison Square Garden. They own the network that plays the Yankees and all that. Like, it's, it's a business empire. So he's not selling it. No. He's just got to die. Yeah. And, you know, one of our, one of our mates, Lou... Who follows the Knicks? Um, and he's now have to follow LeBron just to get any success in his mm. NBA. Maybe his brother can buy the Knicks one day. Yeah. <laughs> probably could. Probably could. All right, let's move on to NFL. So, best thing to happen to the Dallas Cowboys Wait. is we had a buy this week. So, <laughs> job that's a win for you. Best thing all year. How about them Giants? Oh mate, are you guys top of the division now? You should be. Uh, Not yet. yet. Still a Eagles lost back. Are three five and one. Oh, because you lost to them once, didn't you? And they got their. But I just don't want Philly. You know Philly what? Uh, kissed on the dick. I hate Carson Wentz. Um, they suck. La Presidente are, are sends you, it perfectly. Are you getting Carson your, Wentz can't throw the ball. He sucks. Yeah. Are you getting your playoff hopes up? A little bit now. The run's not great home, but but it's not great for the other the teams. In the e- NFC. Exactly. Eagles run home sucks. So we played the AFC North this year. So you're getting Steelers, you're getting Ravens. You're so you've got to be the Bengals. Getting Bengals, right? And then we've got the AFC West, uh, NFC West. Oof. So we've got Cardinals, we've got Rams, we've got um, Niners, Niners Seahawks. and Seahawks. So you've already played the Niners? Yeah. Already played the Rams? Already played the Rams. So you got to play the Cardis and the Haw- Seahawks? Yeah, so we still got to come. Now, Cardis. realistically, you've looked at the schedule. Mm-hmm. Where do you finish win-loss, realistically? Not, not mush hopes. Yeah. Realistically, what do you think? Five and uh, five and eleven. Can that get Push. you in the playoffs? Maybe six and ten gets us in. I don't know if we win a game for the rest of the year. So you, you don't want in. to. Really. See, we can get we uh, Andy Dalton's back, and anything can happen. We now. already we will. We already could have won four games that we've been in for sure. We've led in those games in the last oh, you quarter. Could, you could be. You could have a winning record at the moment. Easily, um, we could beat the Cowboys. We have got Bengals coming up. We can beat them. We get you don't play Washington again. No, we swept. You them. don't play Philly. So, I don't, one on one. So you got to play the Cowboys once. Last. So Last. we still got Sea. Still to come. We've got Bengals, Seahawks, Cardinals, Browns, Ravens, and then Cowboys. All right. So if you win two, three games, if that gets you in the playoff, fuck. If you get in playoffs, six and ten. Can you imagine that either Pittsburgh or Baltimore, one of those teams, are not going to have a home playoff, and either Giants or <laughs> Philly are going to Tell have you a what, home Baltimore. Not yeah. looking that crash. Nah, they're, 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 they're they've right. they've shown warning signs for a couple of weeks, and I reckon. I mean, I know it was pissing down, but no, but I, 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 oh, no, but they, the signs have they been cost there. me four hundred bucks. Hasn't been great at all. They run. They're just not of Lamar, like they're not getting not anything good. like going or anything like even they beat the Colts last week. They scored twenty four points, and one of them was a um, a fumble return for a touchdown. I think last year they were the highest scoring offense ever. Yeah, in a season, so it's a mm. massive. I think they've just been found out. People have worked them no, out. No, they've maybe. worked them out, and like, chances are they probably you know, won't do any damage now. No, Steelers they'll, are nine and zero. They'll, they'll play the playoffs. Steelers are nine and zero, but they're like you know they don't have an ultra impressive nine and zero. They're still the probably the number well, one, as number soon two. As their seed. D starts getting tired and slipping, they're in trouble because their offense isn't doing. Well, they're these elite. Their yeah. wide receivers are awesome. I'm um, not taking away. I mean, nine and nine is all good, but they've been in some tight games. They've been pushed by some shitty teams, and they haven't mm. really played anyone. Like they played the Ravens, obviously, and they haven't really blown anyone out. Besides, I think they blew out the Bengals. Do you know, do you know who I absolutely love is just coasting. Nobody's like Miami. people to Kansas City. 
I, they, they're just winning. They're doing enough to win. They won by three points, I think, yeah, on the weekend. Yeah, Paddy Mahomes is going to win the MVP. They're just going to win. They're just going to win. Patrick Mahomes win, is more than likely going to win the MVP. Come, no one's yeah. talking come about it. NFL playoffs, they are going to destroy teams. I agree with you. They, right. Look, they're the best team. I think because they had to buy this week, so we didn't really hear anything about them this week. And no. The week before, they played the Jets. They're, so, eight, you know. they're eight and one. They're like, and no one's really, because everyone knows they're the best team. Yeah. So they're talking up other teams, but they know they're the best team. Now, Mahomes is the best player. By in the a league, mile. unanimous. It's so it's Mahomes best, and then best player in the league with the best team, like the, yeah. the reigning champs. They kept everyone. They'll be in the AFC Championship game, and you just got to get lucky. Absolutely lucky to beat them out of that or in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Now, the NFC wide open. There's wide no open. no number one seed. If I had to like gun to my head right now, I'd say New Orleans is my number one at the moment. Breeze is down now. But nah, two fractured ribs. Yep. Well, punctured, then that, punctured lung. Like like Green Bay has what they're sitting top at the moment. I go Green um, Bay at the moment. For me, it's Green Bay. They were pushed yeah. by Jacksonville. And like I think from that, it's good to watch. But they, uh, yeah, one of them has to be in the Super Bowl. Yeah, I know. But I don't think it's realistically they should be beating a Chiefs or a Steelers. No. In the Super Bowl. No, no one in the NFC should yeah. be. But I tell you. I mean, they got tanned last week by New Orleans, but fucking Brady, man. They came back yeah. in a big way. Put had, to, had to up. answer the critics. Gronk was good. Yeah. That Ronald Jones. Man, there were some long runs on the weekend. Yeah. There was Ronald Jones went for 98 yards. And then Someone today, today, today Cordell Patterson. Kick off from halftime. Cordell Cord- 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 Is it Cordell, is it? Cordell. Cord- Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> Does everything have to have an extra yeah, little la or a de- like Latavius and Contavius? Yeah. Seven most in NFL history. Yeah, it was because um, before that was only ninety nines. Derrick Henry's what, got look, a ninety nine and a ninety. No, 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 no. The most uh, kickoff returns in NFL history you got today. Oh, really? Yeah. So look, your boy. I think he was your tip for the MVP for the start of the year. Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray. He's lighting up, and so was Tua, and so was those young quarterbacks. Like they're looking, they're a lot different to the uh, ten to fifteen years ago because they can run, they can yeah. get out of pocket, they can He's extend so plays, quick, man. all that. Can't but that oh. obviously that throw, oh man! Like I get to Hopkins, great catch, but an amazing. What throw. the fuck are those three defenders doing? Punch the ball. Oh. All you have to do is punch the ball. I'm glad you said that because everyone's talking about the catch, but you watch the throw. He rolls well, he had to the evade, and then he right spins. Like He's to go. rolling left, yeah. keeping himself in the so- from going out of bounds. Yeah. Throws it up. It, it was a great shot today, and you'd love being the um, Air Jordan brand Jump marketing man. crew. There was a photo of just DeAndre Hopkins' hands just With a the little bit higher than that, and then yeah. the other guy's got Nike gloves, and the other guy's got Adidas gloves, and there's the Air Jordan <laughs> yeah. gloves just above the, uh, catching the ball. Right, it's beautiful. But not only that, the play before that, oh. Josh Allen to Stefan Diggs. Oh. Yeah. Diggs that was catch. unbelievable. I thought everyone's thinking that's the game. I think that's what you paid yeah, me for. That's what you paid me for. That's what you paid me for. All right, mate. Well, that's, and then, that's bang. sneaky. Could see the Arizona Cardinals in the Super Bowl. Well, Seahawks are dropping off big time. Rams, their defense is great. Not sure. Oh, their front the, seven, the Rams. Elite. I'm unreal. Very mate, good. They get to the. They get it's to. It's going to be an interesting pace finish to the end, right. and just switching sort of gears Lears or gears here. Lears even. Lears. Ohio <laughs> State. COVID okay. outbreak in Maryland, game postponed or cancelled. Cancelled. So now it's big for us. They can't afford. I know Bruce it. is not huge on the college football, but for me, it's bigger than NFL. For so me, you see, they've got to play a minimum of six games to it's qualify. Bigger because your Cowboys suck. No, but uh, Buckeyes, they're the best team. Oh, it's a college, mate. Buck Trevor fucking, Lawrence. When you're a tier one big college, you can get you. We're coming. You're win we're more coming games. for that championship. And I've got I did I, think so. I, I did them into Kansas City paying fourteen bucks. Oh, that's good money. Yeah. There's, mm. a, there's a new um T V show coming out on Disney. I saw a clip. Oh, about today. the Clemson guy. Yeah, about yeah. Clemson. It's called I was gonna Safety. sing you that today. It's called Safety. Safety. <laughs> it's yeah. like this guy who like, adopts his little brother and looks after him. It, it, then I saw it was like by PG by Disney. I was like, no. It's gonna be watch a bit cheesy. I'll still watch it. Fuck. So what, what yeah. what's what's the Mike Mush better the way? All right, so <laughs> seven and two. Look, I've got this, to go this, back. Se- this segment, like, this I'm, segment I'm glad because I'm gone horribly pear I've, shaped I've, I've, for the AGT I've community. I've followed you, so I've made some money. Chops lost a lot of money. We talked you up um, as being the shittest tipper. You meant to mush these things. This side man. of uh, I told the equator. You. I, I, we're flipping and it. You're we're seven f- and two. <laughs> we're flipping it. And I have to go back and check. I think I'm five and oh in NFL. I tell you what, so I think Vegas really is going to start taking yeah. your tips and running with them. No, no, you're not five and oh in NFL. 
because you lost one NFL bet. Yep, I remember it. Um, pretty sure it was. Yeah, it was the NFL. So I lost bet. the first week. Of the, the it pre- was it was the like Tennessee that. Titans two weeks ago. Yeah, remember you had them at Tennessee the line. Tennessee Titans and Geelong. Bet. They, they lost to Geelong they Paul. lost yeah. to Bengals. See here, Anthony Mushney. Yeah, without even your cousin, it. the anti Mush. So, so last week, I th- so I've been testing the Mush lately. I put money on against the Jets, but still, like I involved the Jets, so that's a Mush in itself. It could be <laughs> t- risky. Mm. This week, I did my own Giants, and they were easy, they were winners. They didn't even oh, need a line. Best team in the NFC East. <laughs> <laughs> NFC so, least. what is the bet for this week, buddy? I'm gonna really test the Mush. And I'm going to take the Cleveland Browns Ooh. minus three. Who are they playing? I just had a brain fart and I forgot. I was just looking <laughs> at it. Let me tell you, what Eagles. Did, oh, yeah, that's right. The Eagles. Oh, because, that's not bad. Yeah, at home as well. At home. But Philly did you, sucks. Did you see what happened in the in the Browns Texas. game? Right. So they, they were minus three and a half, winning 10 to seven. Oh, Nick Chubb stopped. Nick Chubb stopped and took the ball out of bounds. On the one yard line. So they could then take a knee. So if oh. you score, there's a chance of them scoring still. So he did the team thing. Well, how many? How, many, how long was they're there up, to go? They were up by a point. Three points. Three they were up by three points. How long was the go? Like a minute something, or you know, not yeah. long. So but if you run a touchdown, they, you're they, up ten. Yeah, but yeah. then you get the onside. It was just the the chance. You so know I mean? just he a, did the perfect thing. And then everyone was going like, eight shit oh. because he would have had Cleveland, and then he would have covered it. And then also, yeah. I got my bills bet. Bill was plus two and a half because they won was by three two. three or two and a half? Two, minus two and a half they were. And then because Cliff Kingsbury didn't take the extra point, it would have made it three. They just took the net. They didn't take it. Oh. So they kept it at two. So if you took the Cardinals and the Browns you'd on the weekend, spe- you'd be spewing. <laughs> you'd be absolutely howling. But, yeah. No, see you when we'll I'm married. S- we'll see this more. We are there, guys. Guys, guys. I'll be wearing more jewellery next week. Thank you, guys. The future Mr. and Mrs. Hannah Korea. You've been listening to Any Give and Take. Follow the boys on Instagram and Twitter at Any Give and Take. Viva la fica.